Yeah, are, ready, you ready, ready. Are, you ready, are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> Welcome to the Ups and Down Smiley Show. Oh, where we talk yeah. about real life. You don't have to put him so <laughs> but we don't take like life uncle would too never seriously. Do. I don't know how to use the internet. I got MM, MM, is this like MMT headquarters? Is that how yeah, we're yeah. gonna call it? Yeah, MMT yeah, headquarters, yeah. and we're talking about honesty. Cue the intro. to go by Rhea? Rhea, yeah. We're in Jersey, so we're a little bit of a different background. Mm -hmm. um, and today we're gonna talk about honesty. And the reason why I chose that topic for them is because they have a podcast called My Man and Tim. Yeah, yeah, and tell them what it's about. Uh, it's, uh, we're basically, we started it by just saying we're like three brown folks that are tired of the safe shit. Yeah. It's kind of what we say. Yeah, um, right. That's I think we just have like an irreverent take on what it's like to be Indian here yeah. in America, but also in India, because we do a lot, We like I think like a lot of people don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. So yeah, we yeah. try to you report as much address. as we can yeah. on what's happening over there and how it relates to here right. and then how it's just fucking weird being. And I appreciate that because I don't know a lot about that. Yeah. And so Me I'm too. like, I'm yeah. learning, like whenever we go through the articles, I'm like, oh, I don't shit, even know why we crazy. started that. I think we just you probably found started something. and got interested in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I was like, look at this stupid shit they're doing over there. <laughs> right, exactly. And so, yeah, my my show is about like real talk, sharing everyday people's stories because I think there's a lot of like podcasts, a lot of like shows about famous people. Yeah. And I feel like it's important to hear from everyday people and to understand that you have value in your stories yeah. and that your story should be shared. Yeah, sure. Yeah. So we are three people that are about honesty mm -hmm. and just keeping it real. Yeah. Because. Why would you want to do else? Yeah, I mean, that's <laughs> the thing I'm yeah, yeah. Like, why? Yeah, why? Yeah. Really I, I just don't get it. Like, and um, I, I feel like I gravitated towards your guys' podcast because because of that. And then also this, I don't even know how I started following you guys. Yeah, it was really nice. Yeah. You just like messaged us one day and it was just really sweet. You and your husband both. And I was just On like, the same day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I was just like, yeah, these yeah, people are just it. like yeah. really fucking nice. And like, that, am I allowed to curse? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> I messaged Rhea too. Cause I was like, yo, these people are really nice. Yeah. I, I think I messaged of, both yeah. of you. Yeah, you did. And yeah. I told her specifically because she gets a lot of like DMs and a lot of things sometimes. Yeah. And She'll miss it. So I specifically yeah. was like, "Yo, yeah, when you told see me to these two, yeah. I was like, make sure you respond because they." And I was really actually nice. already about to, and so that's nice that yeah. you said that. And I was genuinely uh, surprised. I was like, "Wow, nice people." Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. think he may have been already following you guys, or yeah, he, said he was that aware he was, yeah. of some yeah. of mm -hmm. some work somehow. Yeah. And I'm trying to remember when because I've been like you've been sharing some stuff from like last year, mm -hmm. and I think it must have been after that because I don't think I ever saw anything about like the Shawn Mendes right, 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 yeah. um, performance or whatever. Right. Anyway. Share what you guys do because I feel like that kind of connects with yeah. this whole idea, right? Yeah. What we do as in in life. In life. Whatever you want to share. What, what do you do as a person? Yeah. As a person. Do you like to eat? Just cool. Like to use a toilet? Budget. I don't know what that, yeah, word. Um, <laughs> I am by by like training and education, I'm an attorney. Yeah. Uh, I'm I was a creative for really I say was always because it's, creative, it's still. still weird, but you're still um, doing yeah. the shit. You're still you creating. Yeah. You have a podcast. Like Yeah, yeah. but you know, you know, like that's like I, the little I don't, I don't drop. Know. Yeah, 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 yeah. So no. I was a creative well before yeah. I decided to pursue my legal studies. And yeah. the reason I became a lawyer was just because I was like, the people who get fucked first are usually the artists and yeah. the creatives, and the ones who are gonna get screwed first are gonna be the Indian ones, because yeah. we don't have any representation over there. And yeah. you know, I was selfish in the sense that I was like, maybe I can make some money there. Yeah. But secondly, I was like, somebody needs to teach them because right. they're just gonna go sign away all their rights all right. the time. And exactly, and I think also you guys, that all that information is like interjected into your podcast, right? Yeah, like, yeah. because it's so, it's yeah. about you guys, yeah. and it's about your story, and it's about your journey, and like, you're a musician. Yeah. So I'm a musician. Um, I wasn't always like a full time musician, um, but I, you know, recently started taking that dive, and he has been helping me with like my contracts, my legal stuff. I wouldn't know half the things about what I own versus like what I'm allowed to get when it comes to like companies who offer me stuff or whatever yeah. it is. Um, I wouldn't know about it if it wasn't yeah. for him and you know, it's not that 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 we focus that topic onto the podcast but it is a huge part of like who we are and yeah. being honest about like the artistic process and I think we talk it about that a lot. It helps color a lot of our experience. Yeah. A lot of people, they reached out to us about the podcast 
Pretty much because there's nobody else who's kind of like doing it, saying it the way that we are. I think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, three voices. Right, yeah. and it's like we, the three of us, have pretty different like viewpoints on things. And, like but I we jump have out the common, window a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then we have a common Rhea ground, and Kush just like reel it back. Yeah, in a yeah. Bit, you know? Like so Kush is yeah. Kush is the guy who's kind of just like. Um, he will always try to play devil's advocate yeah. just to see. And I want to punch him in think. his face. When he does that a lot. <laughs> yeah, and Kunal just like he's been in this game for a long time, so he knows a lot of like things that you know have colored his vision over time. And yeah. I'm kind of just getting into it, so I have this like, and I also have a female perspective on right. a lot of things. And you're also just practical. Right. Yeah, and sensible. And I think yeah. you Whereas just are like, like shamelessly you. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. Mm -hmm. And I think as we yeah. as we all should be. Right. 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 Yeah. And I think that's probably like a part of why we're so honest is because <coughs> we're very aware of who we are. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. And I think that was a journey probably in itself. Is Indian people in general, um, they just kind of struggle with just keeping it real, just like being yeah. honest. Yeah. yeah. Right. I mean, because it's like, and I the issue of like shame like trying to put off this image, yeah. right, status, all that shit is like so important. I think because like a lot of times they, again, they don't know what they're going for because a lot a lot of us just from the moment we're born, we're told what to do. Right? Yeah. Um, and a lot of people don't break out of that yeah. right. until, until much later. Right. And so they A, don't know what what they really are. Yeah, what they, what who they, they really, really are, yeah, what they, they really want to do with life. Um, and well, yeah, actually I think that's like the big, Big thing, yeah. you know. What I mean? think and we don't have yeah. a whole lot to look up to. Yeah, yeah. we're in. So you don't have any role models. Like a, a time right now where I think a lot of people are realizing that they're unhappy with their career choices or choices that they've made. Yeah. We hear about that yeah. a lot. Yeah, and um, and you know, a lot of most of the messages that I get from like singers who are younger or even older are like. I wish I could have done this. The ones who are mm -hmm. older, I wish I could have done this. I wish I had like the courage to do so. And the younger ones who are just like you make it seem like it's not impossible and it's it's that's what we were lacking right like yeah. in our representation in our, yeah we yeah. thought right. like we could do this right yeah. and so now that it's happening there's a lot of people who are like possibly trying like getting trying to get their foot into the door yeah and so <clears throat> you know they're kind of just confused they don't really have that identity figured out yet mm -hmm. so they're trying to build not only this like identity of what they want to be but yeah. also who they actually are and it's just like really confusing yeah and it gets lost who sometimes. you want yeah. to be may not be exactly who you are today right right and that's okay because yeah. i think this all can be aspirational right. but you can you can take steps to move forward in that direction right. so yeah but i think the most important thing out of all of this is the reason why we do this to constantly remain like authentic about it mm -hmm. um the podcast is a total just offshoot of like the three of us, me, him, and Kush, having conversations on a pretty daily basis yeah. about yeah. this kind of stuff. And we were just like, we've been, I think you've been wanting to start a podcast for a yeah. while. Kush actually tried a couple of years ago. Yeah. Uh -huh. And because it was a lot of work on his own, it didn't it didn't end up happening. It definitely yeah. sucks doing something right. by yourself. Yeah. Exactly. And the three of us Much were just like, yeah, we're meeting up anyways. We're working on music. He mixes our music for us. Yeah. Like, he's been working with us for a really long time. And we share like really interesting conversations. So yeah. we're like, we have the shit. setup, yeah. right? Yeah. We're and I was here, ranting yeah. all the time on my Instagram, and right. that has completely yeah. just stopped. <laughs> and because now, now I have the creative the outlet. Exactly. As yeah. like my outlet. But people yeah. used to respond to all these random rants I yeah. would have, and I felt weird because I was like, you know, I was just like, why am I talking into my phone and saying yeah. this shit? Yeah. But people you would respond, it, yeah. and they did want to hear about certain things. So I was yeah. like, all right, let's just try this. Because yeah. the people are connecting with it, and then not everyone feels comfortable in talking to their phone. Absolutely. Right? right? Yeah. Right. And I think us three I think are, are pretty comfortable. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I, I think we're just like comfortable maybe like sharing. Yeah. yeah. Whatever it is that stops you from talking into your phone, at least in, in the case of me, and I, I imagine it's probably for you too as well, when you feel you have something important that you have to say, you're able to get past that barrier. Yeah. yeah. And it feels like your yeah. seams are going to burst if you don't. Yeah, exactly. Right. Like, I literally So have, I still don't like doing it. You don't like, love it. I just know yeah. that yeah. it has to be said. I have like planned stories. Yeah. In my mind, from like things from like yesterday, from last night, I'm like, right. we're gonna address the fact that a lot of Indian dudes think it's okay to like touch a girl. Right. Like I'm gonna address that in right. my story. Sure. Right. Right. I'm gonna definitely address the fact that there wasn't a lot of South Indian representation at that venue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna address that I met an influencer and she was like so kind. Mm -hmm. She's and cool. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's just like, I, I feel like we kind of feel like maybe it's a part of our purpose and we have this, I almost feel like I have like this obligation because I am so confident and I feel like I have this voice mm -hmm. that I am doing a disservice to the world if I don't use it. Yeah. 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 Once we, once the podcast started getting any traction, because literally the best part of it was we didn't expect anything. And I, I mean that honestly. You no, know, I love that. You yeah. guys are like, like some people. Cool. Right. Yeah, and we because the three of us already have this like career passion sort of yeah. thing going on, which is it's taking off. The music stuff is yeah. huge for me. Yeah, it's huge for him. He's an entertainment attorney. Yeah, this is an audio engineer. We all have these like things going on. Yeah, that they just this just felt like a conversation. Yeah, and so we expected like we just like started putting these audio clips out, and yeah. people were like, "Holy shit, this is hilarious!" Slash yeah. extremely relatable. Yeah, and they were like, "Where can we find this? What yeah. is this? What kind of what is, is this a podcast?" And we, yeah. we just started telling people very big. We didn't have an Instagram until a week ago, yeah. right? Yeah. And uh, you know, it was kind of like that anti like social media, yeah, right? Yeah, not yeah. on purpose, but it's yeah. just like, we really it just, just don't like it. Right, yeah. and it probably felt like just like another thing. Uh, exactly, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Manage. Yeah. Right, and we so we just realized like there are people who want to hear this because there's enough podcasts out there yeah. about like really just like colorful, like sugar-coated <laughs> yeah. shit. And sometimes you just gotta be like, dude, these people who say they support you don't. Yeah. And sometimes you gotta be like, there's certain people you find that you never expected to support you who do, right? Like, yeah. it's just like shit that people just don't wanna hear. I've been told so many times, like, work really hard and you'll like get there. Yeah. And I'm just like, if that was if that was how it works, like, you know, I would have been good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you know it's, it's not so really. Many people are yeah. so talented. Right. Yeah. So much more talented than the people that are on the radio. Absolutely. Like, yeah. it's not about that. And yeah. follow your dreams. Like, I'm gonna obviously fucking follow my dreams. Like, yeah. stop telling me to follow my dreams. Yeah. And that, you know, <laughs> things will come when they come and timing. Bitch, I fucking know that already. Just like, but that is not actually, I, the truth of it is that you need to support as much as you say you do, as yeah. much as you but say But also you no yeah. knock to that stuff, because yeah. I sometimes have to hear that No, no, stuff. absolutely, Because yeah. like my yeah. mental spirit sometimes just like needs to be kind of fed right. with that like fluff, but it's not like necessarily fluff. Like yeah. I think it's intentional, like, and it's good. Yeah. But it's not what I want to put out into the world. Right. It's like no, everything yeah. in moderation. In yeah. all honesty. Yeah. Yeah. Like that yeah. stuff helps us too. Like right. yeah. we work hard. I tell Rhea that too. I'll be like, listen, we just gotta work harder. Yeah. yeah. I say that too. But that's like, yeah. there's like people yeah. who are like hundred and fifty percent out there and they're just like positivity, positivity. And it's like, dog, you're probably <laughs> broke. Like, okay. You can't afford a mortgage. <laughs> <laughs> But no, like, this is the this is the coolest dress though. That's yeah, it's really, yeah. I'm, I'm on board with this. Um, no, but I feel it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah. that was kind of it. M yeah. Maybe I'm wrong, but like, no, I'm not. No, but what <laughs> I, I I don't mean to I don't mean to say like those people who for sure who say, who say that are wrong. I think it's just like when you're looking for real support and real advice. Yeah. I think it's important to recognize that there's a lot of bumps in the road and that you have to like really stick to your word and support these people if you say yeah. that you do. Yeah. And that's really the only thing. Like I say time and time again, the only only reason I'm fucking on Instagram is so that I can show you my art yeah. and that you can physically like it because unfortunately that's what we have to count on. Yeah. I can't get a sponsorship until someone else sees that I'm already a well-rounded package. Right. Yeah. Which was not the case 10 years ago. Yeah. And so. You won't be a well-rounded package and and um, attractive to them yeah. until you have like some numbers right. that, because it's all data. It is. Yeah, so it is. Yeah. They, What's up, they right? have yeah. to see data that will like support an investment. Right. It makes right. sense. Absolutely. Um, yeah. But I feel like, yeah, I mean, we've talked about support. Yeah. Support, I feel, is so underrated. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I think people think that they're supporting from afar or supporting yeah. with well wishes or prayers. Like, <laughs> right. I appreciate you praying yeah. to God or whoever yeah. that is, <laughs> but like I need more. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like awesome. we need. You got to put your money where your mouth we is. We need action. Yeah. We need you to share shit. We need yeah. you to tell people. Like, what else are you really talking to your friends about? Like right, the same right. shit. Like going out. Like yeah. this new restaurant. Why don't you talk to people about like people that you know? Yeah. Like right. Like most people that probably watch my shit, they either know me or know of me, right? Yeah. People that that are connected to you somehow they're connected, right? Somehow, yeah. So mm -hmm. you have this this connection to someone that is creating. They're doing something very fucking scary. They're doing a brave thing. Yeah. So 
all it's free to share shit on online. For sure. We're not actually asking anyone to pay for I anything, right? Until yeah. they come to our concert. If you come but, to a show, yeah. like, yeah. but like, also no, like, if I put on a show, if they put on a show, it's gonna be quality. Absolutely. Yeah. And so yeah. it'll be probably worth. And we all know who's the last person getting paid. Me, right? Like yeah. we pay all the instrumentalists, everyone yeah. who's working, everything. Yeah. I'm the last one. Sometimes I don't get paid. Most of the time, I, I, we, we try to like make sure that I do, but it because we're yeah. trying to make things right. economical. Absolutely. Yeah. For y'all folks. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, no, it's, because it's, it's cool to be able to say all of this stuff on MMT without, because sometimes I did feel when I was first trying to gain more fans and stuff, I did feel like I had to sort of like be quiet up a little bit. And um, I was never like that. Like I was like, I was always a very nice person, but always like spoke my mind. Yeah. And so it felt really strange to now yeah. have to be like, I'm going to sing a cover for you and I hope you like my voice. And then like, there was a point where I was just like, yeah, this is not cutting it, right? And like, I started being- This doesn't being, feel good. Yeah, and I started being like pretty real. I'm sure people have been like supporting in, in great ways. Yeah. Um, but I think there could be more. For sure. Yeah. yeah like totally. think about like all the people that follow you, like yeah. if, if maybe yeah. 10%. Yeah. If 10% of my followers like shared my shit, like yeah. I'd be popping. You have your network, then you have just a little bit outside of that when you're, when you're friends, like people sure. that- um people that you're not like the closest with, but that you do know, right? Like yeah. you're in those circles. So your close friends will share it to them, right? Yeah. But what's really important is that it gets shared past that. Yeah. Otherwise yeah. you're always in a bubble. To people right. that yeah. don't know you. Yeah, right. to that, that don't know you. Yeah. Um, because er especially nowadays when there's such an influx of content and like everyone's doing their own thing. It's so saturated. It's, yeah. um, the only way people start following you, I think it's like proven now, is like if it's a referral from yeah. somebody you know. Because right, it's right. so you much. Know? Like yeah. sometimes I just get overwhelmed with the amount of people that I follow yeah. and I'm yeah. like, I can't spend time I'd on Instagram. I'd rather trust what my, you know, my boy or yeah. somebody else yeah. is yeah. telling me like, hey, check this out. Right. I'll trust that, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. and, and that's really the name of the game nowadays. Right. So that's all we ask. We're just like, hey, if you like it, don't just simply listen to it and like like it. We love it that you're there, yeah. but like just share it, share yeah. it to like one yeah. more person that we don't right. know. Yeah, and that's yeah. powerful. And, and that's no, it. understand that power. And that's yeah. all. Like it's truly yeah, it's so very powerful. powerful. Like what you're yeah. doing is you're basically saying like, I appreciate this. I think other people should would appreciate it too. If right. you don't appreciate it, don't share it. Yeah, okay? like obviously right. don't do yeah. that. Sometimes I feel like a whiny bitch. <laughs> Many people don't share it because they don't like it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey. Possibly. Yeah. I mean, yeah. possibly, yeah. but, but I don't think so. But then why am I getting messages from people I don't know? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I yeah, think, yeah. Um, that can relate to it. I think yeah. it's less, I think it's less that people don't like it. It's just people yeah. don't want to go out, go out just, of their it way. It takes a second to go out of their way and they just don't want to do it. There's an article. I wish I could find it. I haven't been able to find it. It broke people down. It was like a scientific article and one of the categories was the facilitator. Yeah. And there were other ones that I thought I aligned with in that article, but then that one was particularly something that I was like, oh, that's really me. Cause like whenever I'm one of those types of people that whenever something is cool to me or intriguing yeah. to me and there's a very low bar in terms of what's cool to me like every <laughs> fucking thing is cool to me yeah i will fascinated. share it yeah i'm fascinated with yeah. shit so i will just share it i always share it like i literally will always send it to like i'll send yeah. it to Rhea, i'll send it to my best friend i'll yeah. send it to a bunch of people i'll be like yo look at this yeah. yeah a lot but then i realized from reading that article that like a lot of people don't do that yeah you know and those facilitators are the ones who kind of make those connections yeah. without realizing we're what like, they're doing. We're connectors. Yeah. I definitely consider yeah. myself a connector. Yeah, you know what I mean? And yeah. it's like and it's really powerful. It's like yeah. um, it's a really cool thing. Like there was other categories in there like the innovator and stuff, which I also think is me as well. Mm. But um, Yeah. I but, think we're all probably yeah, exactly. because we're creatives, yeah. Right. Yeah, um, but that facilitator one really um, it speaks to this that yeah, like right. it's not enough that you like something. You you really in in this day and age you have the ability to influence at least for brown folks, yeah. who's gonna be representing you yeah. in the yeah. future. And that's really powerful. Like our parents didn't have that. Our parents right. didn't have it and they didn't care about it. And yeah. we kind of suffer from that now where we don't really have people there. Yeah. And so now, you know, it's something as simple as just sharing something that you like right. yeah. could help bring about the next person right. who's able to speak on your behalf and support you and help you. And these days you just that's never really know like who's got what connection yeah and if you just share it yeah. with somebody who might see that it's important enough to share it with somebody who might be able to really help you yeah that's like really really powerful and i think that's what we're kind of lacking and if that's what you guys do then we'll see some results because i feel like you know we're working our ass off i'm not knocking anyone that doesn't share our shit i yeah. feel like it's yeah. the we're trying to educate yeah why you should why you should yeah. and especially I, if you believe in it 
And I appreciate if you are telling people in person, but I need you to share it on social media as well. Yeah. Because there's just like a sense of legitimacy and it's just the reality. If you believe in something, I just feel like why wouldn't you share it? Mm -hmm. Because wouldn't you want more eyes on it? Like we work really hard and you are bringing more exposure, you're bringing more eyes. Mm -hmm. And so the value of our work goes up yep, right. because there's more eyes on it, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so we can put more energy into the correct things mm -hmm. that deserve our energy. It's gonna sound so weird, but I've said this a million times before and anyone can fight me about it, but- <laughs> Fight him. <laughs> but all art is not art. Some of this crap that people put out is fucking trash and yeah. it's garbage and there's brown people who do it and there's all different colored people and who do it. And I have another thought because I don't knock people's hustles unless they, <laughs> unless you're doing hurtful things, but I respect your opinion. Yeah. 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 No, but I'm saying like, so then there's only certain people doing things like, like the MMT podcast. I'll be real. Like where they're a hundred percent honest about all sorts of topics and we'll literally tell you, we don't know if we're right. Yeah. You know, we're just trying to bring this up so yeah. people can talk about it. So you have the ability to support that. If you have the ability to yeah. make that decision, like, hey, yeah. this is good. I should support this as opposed to just like the same old the same shit That's we've been seeing yeah. for years yeah. that doesn't really go Or nowhere. what's already popular. Yeah, or what's, what's already popular. popular. That doesn't exactly. need, I, I mean, yeah, I feel like, like yeah. I'm a big believer in like still supporting people that are popular, like Lily Singh and sure. Mm -hmm. um, sure. That and the people that have already kind of grown to that point because yeah. they still they still need it they still yeah. need it yeah. because they still need to validate where they're at right but you really need to to support right. the people that are down yeah because like they have so much growth to do like I already know that we are going to be at a point where we don't have to say this mm -hmm. as much yeah. because I already I already know in my heart that we are going in that direction I just need you guys to help us to get there faster right. yeah yeah and how many people do you know that are saying real shit. That's all, that's right. all I'm wondering. Oh, you have 50 people that you know that are saying real shit and creating something? Oh cool, go like all their stuff. I think he likes stuff. the camera. Yeah. I, think, no, I think you guys are switching the camera. I'm just like, yo, yeah. I get mad confused by it. I'm like, oh, do you know, do you know uh, four other acoustic singers that have sang for the NBA, sang for A.R. Rahman, and have Shameless written a Broadway right musical, now. and Shameless have done all this other stuff? Like. Do you though? Because if you have an influx of that type of material, I get why you wouldn't share it. But yeah. since you don't, and there's somebody who's actually really freaking good at what they do, yeah. why wouldn't you like and share <laughs> right. that? Yeah. That's what confuses me. That was my and point. If, yeah. and, if you're, and if you're single, <laughs> and if you're a female that's single, this is the goal, right? <laughs> you want someone that will like hype the shit out of you, yeah. that believes in you yeah. so hard. It doesn't even matter. I don't even think we said we were married. Oh yeah. We're oh married. shit, we're married. Because <laughs> yeah. like, that would have just been like, wait, why is he supporting yeah, why is he her so, so much? Like, girl, you better get away from this guy. <laughs> and you're her, her manager. Manager, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just yeah. try to do, yeah. help her as much as I can. As yeah. as I am like, taking that I don't role know, as well. I don't yeah. know anything. Like people yeah. will say, this is another thing. People will say like, hey, I'm a manager, and all you've yeah. ever done is one thing in your life. But like. Right. I don't know. I'm just helping. I'm that's learning. It. I don't know yeah. if I'm a manager. I'm, I'm just helping. I'm trying to yeah, do all. what I you can to NBA help. Gig, so I mean, that's what managers do. And he looks at every single contract that I don't have the ability and to understand. And sometimes I don't know what's going on. No, but I'm like, I'm trying to help. That's he's, all. You believe in the vision. You believe in the story. Yeah. You believe in the talent. And that's like the same case with me. Yeah. Like the one thing I would be most disappointed in is if I didn't try. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Try to make it happen. Yep. Right. Sure. Because. She has a talent. She has yeah. something that can be offered and there to the aren't, world. There aren't other people. Yeah. Like, yo, are there seven other people? Are there five other? Are there three other acoustic singer-songwriters who've done what she's done? That's a, are there? This Cause is the then, thing. Because then, cool. <laughs> don't support us. Yeah. <laughs> but since there aren't, <laughs> maybe you should support. We yeah. Could, yeah. And we yeah. may not always say That's the right all. things. I I make mistakes all the yeah, time all in the my time. videos. Like I say like the wrong thing, <laughs> and I. Sometimes I'll be like, should I cut that out? Yeah. Like, should I edit that out? Like, I sound stupid. Yeah. I say um a lot. I say like a lot. <laughs> I'm trying to avoid all those things, but I'm not gonna hold that shit back. Hold me back. Yeah. From doing this. Right. Yeah. Because if we're we're not gonna do it, who the, fuck, try. who the fuck is gonna do it? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely. So. Yeah. 
So to be honest, to be honest, there we go. <laughs> to be, to be honest, we need y'all to support yes. us. Just um, go take a listen to the Mild Mannered and Timid podcast. You Spotify. can find us on Spotify, yeah. Apple, um, Google Play, Google Play, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, just anywhere. You can find us. Just yeah. put Mild Mannered and Timid into Google. You'll yeah. find it. Yeah. It's easy. We're on Instagram at Mild Mannered Timid. There's no and in there. Yeah. Um, and take a listen to a few episodes. Like just skip around. And yeah. if you don't like it, that's cool. Yeah. But if you do. Yes. Hey. Send them a message. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My, my uh, music, inst- well, my Instagram for music is at Rianjali Music, and he's at Cali. Yeah, and I'm just at Cali saying he, I'm just he, around. Most of his content <laughs> is literally me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I know what works. Yeah. He's killing it. So you should follow that whether or not you like her or not. That's nice. Just That's do it. it. Yeah. Just do it. Us, like mild mannered and timid, so you can you, decide if you don't so like it. So you can know, like, when she like pops off super hard, that you can be like, I started following mm. her when she was at 6K. Yeah. yeah. And you can be like, oh, I was like in the beginning. Yeah. I was like when she was like. There's a lot of people who say that to me. They're like, yo, I'm just waiting for you to pop off because I've been there since day one. And I was like, shout out to you. You're gonna get the front row tickets. Yeah. <laughs> when I'm there. I mean, yeah. I, I, I see those people. I know right. their exact handles. Yeah. When I remember that. When yeah. me and Sanu are touring. Around the world, like his <laughs> DJ show. Yeah. Do you guys want to pay or do you want to come in for free? Want, <laughs> we know you're brown. You know you want free tickets. That's the goal, right? We remember every person who <laughs> we, supports. We yeah. remember you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much to yeah. everyone that supports. Thank yeah. you for everyone that messages me. Yeah. Thank you for letting me in your home. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> she asked our doorman if we were serial killers because this is the first time we're meeting. We're literally meeting. Right? And you might be. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Um, Thank you for watching, and yeah, bye. Bye. Go.